Mao Zedong, the famous Chinese revolutionary who established the People's Republic of China and led the Chinese Revolution, has a surviving grandson named Mao Xinyu, who was born in 1970. Mao Xinyu is a buffoon and he is a dumbass. The vast majority of Chinese people in the Chinese-speaking world do not like Mao Xinyu, and they see him as some kind of clown or some kind of joke to laugh about. Mao Xinyu, because of his lineage, because he happens to be the grandson of Mao Zedong, has been treated with a degree of privilege throughout his life in China. For example, in 2010, he was granted the rank of Major General in the Chinese People's Liberation Army, although he is not qualified. Furthermore, several universities in China has granted Mao Xinyu honorary positions and honorary diplomas just because he happens to be the grandson of Mao Zedong. And because Mao Xinyu happens to be the grandson of Mao Zedong, many television shows and many online media programs would invite Mao Xinyu on just to have him be a guest to talk to these talk show hosts. And Mao Xinyu would go on these long, incoherent, rants about random topics which nobody would understand but because he's the son the grandson of Mao Zedong nobody would dare interrupt him or nobody would dare mm. argue with him so Mao Xinyu needless to say is a clown, and many Chinese people do not take him seriously. In fact, many Chinese politicians do not really take him seriously neither. Now, for a while, Mao Xinyu was a member of the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference, which is like the advisory branch of the Chinese government that makes suggestions and gives criticism to the Communist Party of China. The CPPCC, or the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference, invites people from all walks of life, like actors, artists, working class people, and farmers to participate in the assembly, right? Even Jackie Chan and Yao Ming got seats in the CPBCC and were allowed to participate for a while. But because Mao Xinyu was so unpopular, he failed to get elected into the CPBCC in his district back in 2017. In addition, in 2018, when the Communist Party of China held its National Party Congress, Mao Xinyu was not invited to participate. He was not invited to go in and attend the meeting, right? Now, the National Party Congress, which is the con the one of the higher congresses of the Communist Party of China, which consists of party members from across the country, is much more important, right? This is actually a meeting that has some political power in the Chinese political world. So Mao Xinyu, but not being allowed to go in, is actually a very big deal for him because it means that he is no longer given political power in the country. And also, I also want to mention that there is a video circulating on Chinese social media which shows Xi Jinping, the current president of China, snubbing Mao Xinyu. Xi Jinping was coming out to give a toast to all of the delegates and he turned his back on Mao Xinyu and refused to make eye contact of Mao Xinyu. So I think this shows that Mao Xinyu, he is not that well respected in China by the ordinary civilians and by Communist Party members. Ye 
走过的路阳光照，奶奶在下的树一张大，半仓的稻谷有丰收。月麓山的松涛满山崖，脚下的山水几深情，脚下的山水换回家。爷爷奶奶归来吧。为你们砌好了烧山场。